In this video, I wanted to take a moment to point out this interesting little thing going on with two of my Blue Eye Lemon Short Fin Bristlenose Plecos, um, sometimes also referred to L144s, I believe, although I'm not sure if that's actually correct, but I know a lot of people call the Blue Eye Lemons L144s. Anyways, two of mine have developed black spots on them, and I originally thought this was sickness until I did a little further research and found out that it's rare, but some other people that have blue-eyed lemons have also noticed this on their fish. So I thought it was pretty cool. The, the black spots appeared at the same time that some of my other fish were getting sick. So I just figured that it was a symptom of the illness and that when everybody got better, the black spots just didn't go away, like it was a scar of some sort. Though after reading other people's experiences online, I came to realize that that was the wrong assessment and that this is just a rare occurrence with some blue-eyed lemons. It has something to do, some people claim anyway, that it has something to do with their genetics back when people were creating this breed of bristlenose pleco and crossing different colors and whatnot, and that's the explanation I've heard. I'm not sure if that's true or not. I just think it's really cool, and I actually really love this, and when I sell off these sub-adults right here in this tank, I'm going to keep those two, and I'm going to try to breed them down the road and see if I can pass on this black spot to their fry. Now, neither of the parents of these fish, who are also short fin blue eye lemons both, um, neither of them had black spots. And these fish didn't always have the black spots either. They kind of developed them uh, when they were, I don't know, maybe six months old. I've read online too that some people say the black spots will disappear as they mature or could possibly appear further down the road on fish that don't have them yet. I think it's really cool, especially on the one that has the circular black spot on the top of the head. Um, kind of reminds me of a Tancho Koi, uh, if that makes sense, because it's kind of a perfect circle on the head. But anyways, just a little cool quirk with these two fish that are siblings and figured I'd make this video to see if any of you guys have witnessed this with any of your blue eye lemons and maybe have some more information to share on the cause. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and thank you for watching.